Alrighty, well, I just found a car. I'm gonna finally replace this Honda Civic with a Honda Element. It's gonna be the perfect camping fishing car. Man, I can't wait to show you guys just all the features that it has. So this car showed up on Craigslist 800 miles away. So it's an 11 hour car drive, but I'm gonna fly there. Just bought a one way ticket. I'm headed to the bank right now to get some cash so I can pay the lady when I get there. It's an amazing deal. Originally, well, I'll tell you the details when I get to the car. Let's get that money first. Okay. Yes, please. All right, got the cash. You know, it's a 2008 Honda Element, so it's not like a brand new car. It's got 100,000 miles on it, but these Hondas, you know, they last for 200,000 miles easy. So yeah, let's go. All right, ready to head out. This is what I'm bringing right here. Got a sleeping bag, insulator, book to read on the plane, and a car charger. That's all I'm bringing other than the cash, a jacket, and yeah, so I'm gonna call up an Uber right now, fly out to Phoenix, Arizona, meet this lady, and hopefully, well, she's gonna pick me up from the airport. Never met her before. And hopefully she doesn't flake on me. Uh, good, how are you? Went to the airport. Group four is welcome aboard. Group four. It's all, I think, uh, I mean, you putting in a little bit of extra elbow grease. All right. <laughs> All right, well, just bought the car. Look at this element. Pretty big in here. So this seat right here folds down completely. This one folds down completely. So this forms like a mattress. So the only thing that I brought on this trip was a sleeping bag and an insulator. So I'm gonna drive, you know, five, six hours. It's an 11 hour car ride back to San Francisco. So see how much I can drive now, maybe get something to eat first. And when I feel like I can't drive anymore, I'm just gonna pull over, put the seats down, got my insulator and just sleep. Don't have to pay for lodging. That's the whole plan with this car. So, all right, real quick. If you're buying a car, I've got scammed before. I got scammed bad before, so I've learned my lessons. So if some seller says that they have a car fax and they wanna show it to you, always run your own car fax. Always get the VIN number. If they don't have a VIN number for you to run and they don't want to take a picture of the VIN on the dash or the door, don't trust them. Like, really. There's so many scams out here. It's so easy to roll back an odometer or it's so easy just to get a new gauge cluster with new, with, you know, different mileage on it. So that's number one. Always run your own Carfax. Make sure it matches the story that the seller is saying. Um, yeah, so... Shoot, man, I got an element for such a great price. Anybody interested in buying my Honda Civic? $5,500, uh, and it's yours. It is 2.30 right now, 2.30 a.m. That's the mileage, 103,500. Started this trip with 103,000, so gone about 500 miles so far. I was planning to stop and sleep, but I think I'm just gonna drive through, just drive straight 10, 11 hours, about four hours away from San Francisco. So I will be there soon, hopefully, you know. I don't know, I'm not too tired right now. 2 a.m., probably get home at 6.30 and just crash out when I get home. So the clock says 7.30, my odometer reads 103,818 miles. So I've driven about 800 miles. 11 hours straight and I am exhausted so once I get home I'm gonna hit the sack and then once I get some rest I'll come out here and then show you the features of this car in the light and it'll be the first time I see it in the light too so I will check in with you guys shortly oh man all right back home well rested now so let me show you the element but before I do look at all these boxes behind me I just made this huge order of t-shirts and sweatshirts because a lot of people have been asking me like when am I going to get these new or these uh, Fisherman's Life hoodies back in. Well, I got a ton of the Fisherman's Life hoodies and I got a ton of these trout hoodies. Look at that design. It's probably my favorite design right now. 
like a steelhead on a fly. Uh, one of my subscribers, um, Chester, made this for me, and he's a graphic designer. So if you guys want something made, he does great work. Oh, and this one too. Look, there's a ton of people who leave comments and like, oh, you got to make this butter t-shirt, just a little bit of butter. So Chester designed this for me. Well, he designed the pan for me at least. So just a little bit pan with the butter, fisherman's life. So kind of an inside joke. So those are in limited quantity. And also I ordered a bunch of these too. So these are long sleeve. Um, they, they have two designs, one with the trout, one with the fisherman's life logo like that. If you want to check these out, go to www.fishermanslife.net. And that is the only place you can get them. So yeah, especially these little bit of butter t-shirts, those are in high demand, I think, and not too much of quantity there. But without further ado, let's go check out the element in the bright sunlight and see how it looks and see what the features are, see what all I can fit in there. And if you want to get an element, I think this might just inspire you to do so too. So there it is. No roof rack yet. It's got a bike rack. I'm going to take that off. One of the things I really like about the Element is that it has a tailgate. So not just like regular car, it just has a tailgate. So once I get this bike rack off, I can just open this up from here. And boom, I got a tailgate to sit on or to fish from or to cook from. So this is the interior. I know it's kind of cramped in here, but you, so you can't really see, but the floor is all this vinyl material. So if you get sand in here or whatever, you can just sweep it out. And look at the chairs here. So it's, a, it's so much leg room for whoever's back here. There's a big trunk back there too. And let me show you about these seats, man. These seats are pretty cool. So you pull this lever here and the seat lays flat. On the bottom here, you can pull this it releases the chair and you can lift it up and it has this little carabiner here and you just hook it onto the armrest up there so just like that you've got all this room here you can do the same thing on that chair just lower the seat and raise it up or just take them out completely but the main reason why I got this car is for this feature you pretty much have a bed right here so I'm going to be going on a lot of trips up to Mendocino, Sac uh, Santa Cruz, or just along the coast anywhere. I'll be driving there. I'm going to make a little platform on here so when I'm ready to sleep, I can just pop down, pull out my sleeping bag. I'll have all my fishing gear here. And it's really just the perfect car. So I don't have a roof rack on it yet, but there's a lot of room in here. One other thing, take a look. So although it doesn't have a roof rack yet, because of this tailgate, you can throw in a whole kayak and just have it stick out just a little bit. So yeah, that is the new Fisherman's Life Mobile. I just wanted to update you guys and let you know what I've been up to. Just driving back from Arizona. Pretty cool, like what other car do you know that you can fold the seats down like that, put a bed in it, sleep wherever you want, or that has a tailgate. You can throw in an 11 foot kayak like this. This is a perfect, perfect car for someone like me and probably for a lot of guys like you too. So in the future, I just wanted to update you. There's going to be a lot more videos with this car in the future. No more Civic. Hopefully I can sell it soon. A lot of drone shots with this car, a lot more fishing adventures with this car. So uh, that's what's what I'm up to. And now it's time to go fishing, time to go fishing. See you guys soon. Thanks for all the support too. You guys are the best.